Learn Oil Field Stuff. Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oil Field Stuff. The ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about something that affects our lives every day. Oil and gas. Where do they come from? How do they get trapped underground? And how do we find them and extract them? If you want to learn more about the amazing world of petroleum geology, then keep watching. So, what is oil and gas, or petroleum? Well, petroleum is derived from Latin words, petra, meaning rock, and oleum, meaning oil. So to put it simply, petroleum is oil found in rock formations. But how does oil get into rocks in the first place? Oil and gas are actually formed from the remains of ancient plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. When these organisms died, they sank to the bottom of the oceans or lakes, where they were buried by layers of mud and silt. Over time, these layers became thicker and heavier, creating high pressure and temperature conditions that transformed the organic matter into hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are molecules that consist only of carbon and hydrogen atoms. They can have different shapes and sizes, depending on how many carbon atoms they have and how they are arranged. For example, methane is the simplest hydrocarbon molecule, with one carbon atom joined to four hydrogen atoms. Hydrocarbons can occur as natural gas, which is mostly methane, or as liquid oil, which is a mixture of different hydrocarbons. But how do these hydrocarbons move from the source rock where they were formed to the reservoir rock where we can find them? Well, this process is called migration. And it happens because hydrocarbons are lighter than water. Oil and gas naturally want to rise upwards towards the surface through any porous and permeable rock formations that they encounter along the way. Porous means that the rock has spaces or pores between its grains or within its cracks or cavities. Permeable means that these pores are connected and allow fluid to flow through them. The more porous and permeable a rock is, the more potential it has to hold hydrocarbons. But not all rocks are porous and permeable. Some rocks are impermeable, meaning that they block the flow of fluid. These rocks can act as seals or barriers that prevent oil and gas from escaping to the surface. When oil and gas encounter an impermeable rock layer above a porous and permeable rock layer, they get trapped in a subsurface pool called a petroleum reservoir. But not all reservoirs are created equal. There are different types of traps that can form a reservoir depending on the shape and structure of the rock layers. Let's look at some examples. One type of trap is called a structural trap. This is when the rock layers are deformed or displaced by tectonic forces such as folding or faulting. For example, an anticline trap is an upward fold of the layers of rock. Oil and gas migrate into the highest part of the fold where they are trapped by an overlying impermeable layer. Another type of trap is called a salt dome trap. This is when a large mass of salt rises through the rock layers due to its lower density and plasticity. As it rises, it pushes aside and breaks through many layers of rock in its path. If it encounters a porous and permeable layer that contains oil and gas, it can create a trap by sealing it off with its impermeable salt. A third type of trap is called a stratigraphic trap. This is when the trap is caused by changes in the character or composition of the rock layers rather than their shape or position. For example, a sandbar or a reef can form a porous and permeable layer that contains oil and gas within an impermeable layer such as shale or limestone. These are just some of the types of traps that can create petroleum reservoirs. 
There are many more variations and combinations that exist in nature. To find them, geologists use various methods such as seismic surveys, gravity surveys, magnetic surveys, well logging, core sampling, etc. Once a reservoir is located, engineers drill wells to access it and extract the oil and gas using pumps or pressure techniques. The extracted oil and gas are then transported to refineries where they are processed into various products such as gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, kerosene, etc. Oil and gas are very valuable resources that provide energy and raw materials for many industries and products. However, they are also finite and non-renewable, meaning that they will eventually run out. Moreover, they have negative impacts on the environment and the climate, such as pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, spills, etc. Therefore, it is important to use oil and gas wisely and efficiently, and to look for alternative and sustainable sources of energy that are cleaner and greener. This is one of the biggest challenges and opportunities for the future of humanity. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new about the oil and gas industry. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more drilling related content. Questions? Do you have any questions about drilling? Leave them in the comments section below and we will try to answer them. Until then, stay curious and keep drilling.